Okay, so here we are in the Mustang and we're cruising at a speed of bang on 100 kilometers an hour on the freeway. Ford's Mustang has been a performance car offering in the US of A for a very, very long time. Since the 1960s, you could actually buy a beautiful Ford Mustang uh, off a brand new showroom floor. Whereas here in Australia, it wasn't until the sort of mid to late 2010s that these guys actually became available from your Ford dealer. So in the performance stakes, we've got the big five litre V8 in the front, a manifold back, uh, exhaust system which sounds fantastic. The byproduct is it's also very noisy which is where our car builder solution comes in. We absolutely love this stuff here. This car has a two-stage process. Stage one peel and stick sound deadener and stage two acoustic liner that goes on top of the stage one deadener. Front doors under the floors in the quarter panels so what we're going to do is we're going to jump in this Mustang, we're going to take it for a run uh, and then once we've got all of those things done we're going to take the car back out on the same roads and we're going to measure it uh, for, its, for its noise level. And this little section of road is uh, pretty good in terms of surface, it's not too bad, not too noisy. Customer states that the noise level is worst in fourth gear and on rough blue metal type surfaces. Yeah, that, that surface there, that's the worst one. Right, so sitting here at 100k's fourth gear, the air conditioning off and everything else off. It's definitely quite noisy. The exhaust is definitely a contributor. Another one would be the uh, height, being the tires a little bit closer into the wheel arches because it's lowered about 35 mils, I think. We'll get this guy home and put it back in the shed. We're gonna spend a couple of days on this car really just getting it nice and tight and, uh, and clean. Stay tuned. find ourselves at the business end of this tear down on the Mustang. Door trims that are off, all of the interior that needs to come out, in under the seat, in up the back here as well. These seats actually don't need to come out because they fold down. Up onto the parcel shelf, every part that needs to come out is now out, except for this carpet. The interesting thing with the carpet is it's joined up there, if I pull this carpet back over, it's got factory joints here in the in the carpet, but basically, yeah, where it joins up in there, <coughs> you can't take the whole 
carpet panel out without stripping out this dashboard. I'm gonna leave it in and just work around it between getting in the sides here and obviously like I just had it before, peeled back and sort of folded over on itself to do in under the floor. Don't ever let anyone tell you <laughs> that they're jealous of your success. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. Got most of the matting down here in the back, just a few gaps to fill in. And uh, under the carpet here, in under the back seat, up into the corners, underneath, all the way to the front. So I just got the floor on the other side to do, and in behind the door trims. And then we go to stage two, and then stage two complete will uh, be complete. Unreal. Plenty, plenty of uh, soundproofing in underneath this one. So that is stage one, nearly done. Still a few little things to finish off, but I thought while I had it peeled back, at least I could show you guys where it's at, moments away from sort of starting stage two. So it's a big job. <laughs> Cuts the hands up. You know, you probably can't see it, but my hands are covered in all sorts of scars. And you can wear gloves with this. It's probably recommended, usually like a rubber-based type glove, but problem you get sometimes which that even is um, the, the material just sticking to the gloves all the time I don't really like using them I just put up with the scars so <laughs> helping Zach today finish off this Mustang that he's been doing with all the sound deadening so stage two is this foam acoustic paneling bottom floor right side Something like that. Pretty straightforward. This piece of road here doing 100 k's an hour in top gear on this harsher blue metal type surface we're happy to call a success confidently going to give this one back to paul with a uh, huge improvement and hopefully a smile on his face also very grateful that he gave me the opportunity to drive the car um, with his blessing it feels just amazing to drive this car. It's just got a real presence about it and a real uh, real surety. It's really firmly planted. So in summary, I think that the soundproofing definitely made a big difference to the overall feel of the car. The trade-off between having something that's well soundproofed, that's also reasonably fuel efficient, you know, and, and the right price to manufacture and and all of the factors that come into something building a brand new car you wouldn't expect a factory car to have as much sound deadening as that car now does have in it so uh, our next video is likely to be something on this guy behind me so uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do because you will be the first to see that in the future obviously if you've got some value out of this video hit the like button or share it with people. We're all about trying to bring this car scene closer together and we can't do that without you guys. Thanks again.